Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. Look at this. It's been about five months when I done my last video about the homeless encampments in Venice Beach. That's when they cleaned up the last zone. Everybody had to move in Venice. There was no more homeless people there now. And after 6,000 views, over 6,000 people watch my videos. It's no wonder when I walk up and down the ball while people come up to me and say, hey, aren't you that German guy? The guy who did the homeless encampment videos in Venice? Yes, that's what I'm known for now, the homeless encampment video guy. Anyway, a lot of people text me and write me. They say, hey, Mike, how does the situation look right now in Venice Beach? Did the homeless return? Do they still enforce it? How does it look like? So as you can see, today there's a little tent encampment right here. And I'm just going to let you know how the situation is in Venice Beach, California now. And before I show you what's going on on the Venice Boardwalk, I want to introduce you to Centennial Park. I drove down right here on Venice Boulevard a thousand times and I never knew that that sign says Centennial Park, which is located right here on Venice Boulevard and South Venice. It's only a few blocks from the beach. And right here, this is the Venice Library. And five months ago, there was no tents, no homeless encampments in this park. It rained really hard last night here in Venice and the people try to keep their stuff dry. He put some pellets underneath. It's pretty smart, so it's not going to get wet from the bottom. It looks like that they have caseworker going from tent to tent and probably try to provide the homeless people with shelter. Everybody's trying to dry their stuff. And since the homeless getting tickets and warnings on the beach, a lot of them decided to come right here in front of the library. I've never seen a teepee like this. Just a few weeks ago, you only saw like a couple tents, then five, six. Now it's up to like 30 tents, I would say. And it's getting more every day. And while I'm riding my bicycle here, some of the homeless recognize me and they say, oh, there comes the German guy, he's the problem. And uh, do you have your spy cam on you? That's what they're telling me. So they cleaned this area. Once a month, I heard, he told me. And at five o'clock, they can move their stuff back over to the grass side. People waiting here to put their stuff back. And as you can see, they told everybody to remove their tents. And when I came here today, I ran into Mark and I tried to interview him a little bit about the situation right here in the park. Is that okay, Mark, that I put you on YouTube? Absolutely, 100%. All right. And were you on the beach before, like five months ago, to have like all the homeless encampments on the beach? I was not on the beach, and I want to say unfortunately, because they did give those folks the opportunity and help, and a lot of them unfortunately squandered it. Okay. Uh, if I had that opportunity, uh, two, three, four weeks in a motel room, I could, I could change my whole life. You know, having clean clothes, being clean, sleeping out of something decent. Uh, and, sorry, what happened today here? I, I came in, I see all those tents gone. Today we have a, a cleanup day, and if you look throughout Venice, all the way down to Sepulveda Bridge, they post uh, cleaning signs. They'll say on this date, such and such, please be out of the park from uh, seven to four. And uh, they don't say don't come back. They just say seven to four. So naturally, of course, most folks come back. Okay, so they're just cleaning up the area. Then. Today's a regular, uh, yeah, cleanup, general cleanup. I'm gonna say there was, uh, let's see, 10, 10, 10, there was probably upwards of twenty. 20 uh, tents and we try to not police the area but if you're going to be here we want you to try to respect it keep it clean you know not get us thrown out things like that all right i appreciate you talking to me man thank you i appreciate you asking me and uh anytime, anytime all right my have a good day you too and i wanted to show you something when you walk here this looks like a railway track I don't know if they're real wooden beans. Maybe it's concrete. I don't know. 
but I just want to give you like a little fun fact. I am not exactly sure where they're going to place it, but they raised $115,000 for a red trolley cable car, which is going to be the Venice Heritage Museum. It's going to be right here on one of those tracks. And as you can see, just a few hours later, all the tents are back on the grass again. More and more people set up their little tents in the alleys. Some of the homeless try to put the tents back on the beach. Today is a really overcast day, but when the police is around, they will give them a ticket or a notice for them to pack everything up and leave. The trash is all emptied out. And also some people try to dry their clothes right here on that little wall. Looks like he's building a little hut right there out of wood. This little hut did not even last one day. The police closed them down the next day. Some people collect empty cans and they leave their bags right there next to the sidewalk. And every Friday there's cleanup day. So maybe this was taken on Monday, but by Friday, most of the stuff is gone again, but during the week, it accumulates some stuff right on the boardwalk. This little encampment has been here for a while. You cannot set up any tents on the beach, but you're allowed to put umbrellas up. So sometimes the police checks and those are all umbrellas, so they can't really remove it. Comprehensive cleaning every Friday between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. The whole boardwalk. This is the Cadillac Hotel that they converted into a shelter. And you see some people set up in front of it. So it depends what day you come down on the beach. If you come in the beginning of the week, it looks like this. And at the end of the week, you can see they cleaned up the pagoda and took everything away again. Some of the homeless people just throw their stuff in here if they don't need it anymore. And then the city comes and picks it up, but it looks pretty clean right here. And yes, you still see sometimes people set up next to the sidewalk, but as soon as the police sees it, they come by and give them a warning and they have to move everything. So if you go all the way on the boardwalk, you see the sign, City of Santa Monica. This is where Santa Monica starts. And if you look this way, the sign is here. And some people set up here. So they're like kind of like in Venice, but they're not in Santa Monica. Normally the police in Santa Monica enforce it's harder than in Venice, I think. But that's how it looks right now. 
See all the tents that were here on the border of Santa Monica and Venice Beach, they're all gone too. I don't really know exactly how the rules and regulations are now. Sometimes they enforce it, I guess, and sometimes not. So today is Friday, cleanup day. So all the people they set up here, they move their stuff over here because they know they're gonna clean the pagoda and nobody's supposed to be on that side. But after they cleaned, I think they're coming back. And like I said, today is cleanup day. LAPD is here. They're probably gonna clean all this up. See, most of the tents on the beach are also gone. It looks like they're still enforcing it. LAPD is down here, the park ranger is here. And during the week they come here, they give them warnings and tickets. And then on Friday, they're gonna clean up the tents. There's the big green machine. Looks like the guy has a bow and an arrow in that tent right here. Police is there and they're cleaning up this tent over here. I heard somebody said that he actually removed this stuff before and now he came back and now they make him move again. It looks like he doesn't want to move, so I don't know what they're going to do. So the park ranger and the LAPD are debating what they're going to do. They're picking up random stuff that's been left on the beach. What I overheard him saying is that they're going to let him stay for another week and he has to be gone by next week. Well, they put a notice up yesterday on this one, so we'll see if they take this one down. Well, I guess I take all this stuff away, but all this stuff is gonna stay there till next Friday. That's her stuff. Well, all this stuff is gonna stay for another week. See, they removed the lady here. They removed everybody there, but just a day later, some other people are back. Muscle Beach is still not open, hopefully after this weekend it's going to be open so this is westminster park it's just one block from the beach and the city tries to loosen up on the no camping law and the local residents are concerned also because the city tries to open up a decompression center right here at the westminster park they're going to do like a storage unit for the homeless and they also try to help the mentally ill people and a lot of people agree that's a good thing to do but the biggest problem is that it is right across the street yes you can see there's an elementary school and they just got rid of all the homeless people around the school and now they're afraid that they're all going to be back because they're going to be the storage unit right here on westminster there are still all the tents in front of gold's gym in venice they also do cleanups right behind Gold's Gym. Everybody has to move their tents and then they come with a pressure washer. But right after everything is cleaned, most of the people are back right there where they used to be before. So I've been filming this update video the past two weeks and when I put all those clips together it looks like Venice Beach still has a lot of homeless encampments but that's not really the way it is. Here and there you see like a little encampment but sometimes the police sees it, they give them a ticket or they make them move but overall Venice Beach is way cleaner than it was before and I think it's also way safer but like I said before people try to find different areas where they can set up their little tents in the alleys in the parks but venice beach looks much much better now and this is south venice this is towards going back to the library and the centennial park
Well, my friends, that was it right here from beautiful Venice Beach, California. I hope you liked the video. I hope uh, you're satisfied with the answers I gave you and you see what Venice Beach looks like now. If you liked the video, maybe you want to give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell. Nah, don't subscribe to my channel. You don't have to subscribe. Don't subscribe. Of course you have to subscribe. Anyway, see you guys later. Tschüssing.